Okay, first thing we're gonna do is tap these bearings in. You wanna tap right on the outside edge of this bearing, so I, I got a socket that fits right on the edge. Okay, I'm gonna try hitting it with this just so we can get a more even blow on it. I think that should be good. Okay, we're gonna move over to the other case now. Okay, those look to be good to go. Make sure that's nice and lubed up and then Okay, we're gonna stick the transmission and the arms in and everything. Oh shoot. There we go. So now you gotta kind of flip the case over and you're gonna wanna stick the 10 millimeter bolt in the back. This holds the shift um, arms in. Now we should be good. Okay, this is the kickstart shaft. So this just goes straight in and then engages and disengages. That's, that's when it's disengaged and then it sits back down into the teeth. Okay, we are now ready to stick the other half of the case on. Should just slide in. Okay, that looks good. So we're gonna flip this case over and Okay, we're gonna stick some seals in few of the different seals get those in and then put the um, case screws back in okay we're gonna stick these seals in okay we're gonna tighten these down Now we're gonna stick the um, shifter arm. Should be able to just push that through. Okay, I got that pushed in. You wanna have it right in between there. And then next we're gonna be shift pins in. Okay, we're gonna put the shifter star back on. Then you wanna put some Loctite, blue Loctite. Okay, 
get it super nice and tight. Then you want to put the tensioner back in. This one you also want to put the Loctite on. Okay, we're gonna stick this tensioner in. We're gonna stick the oil pump gear in. It goes through this side. And you flip it around. It's just threaded, so you just spin it on. Then you can tighten it from the back side. New gaskets on the oil pump. Okay, now you have to line up that pin, so and then twist it back. Now the main gear goes on. There's a bunch of clutch material that gets built up. As you can see, it's it had a lot of build up in there. Okay, we're gonna put some new springs in. Just got these. Then you wanna take one of your fiber discs. You want those to soak for overnight. Okay, I wasn't able to film that, but what I did to get this clip back on was since I put those new springs on, it was super hard to to push down. So what I did was I um pushed down and then and then I had um some vice grips and they were holding this uh C clip together. I had it pinched together and then I pushed down and had, and then I was able to slip that in just to get it enough under, and then I let go and I was able to push it down and in. Okay, and one more thing you wanna make sure is that the discs are lined up, the, the teeth on the discs are lined up together, and then also you want the, you want the C-clip to be both ends where it gets cut right here, you want it to be underneath the teeth, just so it holds really well. Okay, we're gonna put this clutch on now. Then you put your lock washer in.
probably stick this cover back on. We're gonna put this cam chain in. Kickstart seal on. 